And let's go to another thing where they're trying to make us seem like the crazy people. Yeah. Everywhere you go on the Internet, you hear some version of this. Hydrogen is the power source of the future. Green hydrogen will solve all of our energy needs. Now, we are constantly reporting on why this just isn't true. And many people are like, Zach and Jesse, why are you so negative about this great renewable energy source? Why can't you just play nice with hydrogen, boys? Well, we've tried to explain it. It's just basic math. Hydrogen fuel cells are way less efficient than solar or wind energy and batteries. That That's it. It's basic math. OK, but that's OK. Don't listen to us. Instead, listen to this peer reviewed study just published in the journal Nature. It's titled Hydrogen Technology is Unlikely to Play a Major Role in Sustainable Road Transport. Nice, simple to read title that tells you the whole story. The study is written by Patrick Plotz at the Fraunhauer Institute of Systems and Innovation Research, ISI, in Karlsruhe, Germany. And he shows quite empirically what we and Elon have been saying for years. The inefficiencies of hydrogen add up to being three times less efficient than pure electric vehicles. Now, does it mean that hydrogen is evil? No, it means that anyone pushing hydrogen, who obviously knows the math because they wouldn't have invested millions of dollars without doing the math first, is evil. Hear me again. Hydrogen's just an element. It's not evil. But anyone who says hydrogen's a better answer is evil. Now, you might be going, whoa, 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 what? If you are a big energy company, you know this math. You, it's just basic, easy to, to, to know science. It's been pointed out by many people. You know this math. You know that what you're trying to do is less efficient than solar and wind. You choose to do it anyway. Why? Why, Zach and Jesse? Why would they do that? Because they're not trying to get green hydrogen, which would be uh, taking water, basically, putting in electricity and getting hydrogen out. They are trying to get it from natural gas, which they have because they're oil companies. The only ones pushing this are oil companies right. because they're going, well, this is the way that we can sustainably blah, blah, blah. And <laughs> even, you know, let's not forget that in order to make uh, this would technically be blue hydrogen, although they'll definitely try and sell it as green hydrogen. Blue hydrogen is the hydrogen that comes from natural gas. There's no color. It's a colorless gas. Don't I? Well, and again, they're going to use marketing they're going to use the word natural gas. It's not natural. It, it's methane that you, in order to get along with a lot of other carcinogens. Right. Basically, what you got to do is you take any kind of uh, hydrocarbon, you strip off the carbon and you're left with the hydro. And that is the hydro, not water. It's hydrogen. So you're left with the hydrogen. And then, well, I got all this carbon, which naturally turns into carbon dioxide. <laughs> well, oh, where'd it go? Oops. <laughs> Right. I've said this a million times. I know that it's getting old. Here's the other point. Here's the other point. Let's say that the energy industry uh, really does think that, no, guys, really, we're going to close all the oil wells and we're just going to do uh, blue uh, green hydrogen. It's going to be really we're going to get it all from the sun. Why would they like that? Well, <laughs> because, first of all, you can't have hydrogen at your house. They I have mean, to put it into you, a pipeline. You, you can't you can't have that. Why? Oh, because it's dangerous. Right. Don't. Don't I don't want people to have a bottle of of hydrogen gas that so they we could, can sell it you to you at a pump stuff up. Right. So only the special cars that you can buy that have the the bulletproof tanks. Those are the only ways that you can get the hydrogen. Right. So you have to come to us. Right. You can't generate it yourself because you aren't going to be trusted with this hydrogen. And do you stuff. see the evil part? If you put solar panels on your roof, you get electricity every day that you can pump into your cars. Right. But. With hydrogen, you have to drive down to a station that they control and you buy from them. And then they can set the price at whatever they want right. because it would take three times as many solar panels to run your car on hydrogen than it would if it was just the battery electric. Right. And what do they want? They want you to oh, buy more stuff. It's fine if it's more expensive. They we want to control care. it. Because also they're going to be burning natural gas in order to do make the green hydrogen. So either way, they are going to be getting their fill, which is to pump something out of the ground for free because they have the infrastructure to do it without you being able to get in on it. I mean, if you have like a even if you could drill an oil well in your backyard, first of all, it's unattainable to you in terms of price you don't you're not just sitting on thousands of dollars to go drill an oil well and then second of all what are you going to refine your own gasoline or your make your own hydrogen no you're not right Ugh. again we get we talk about the critical thinking stuff they just want you to just kind of uh, what's going what what oh that's good okay yeah and, and that's so annoying because i've met intelligent people and 
if they think about it for three seconds, they go, yeah, hydrogen's freaking stupid. And then they, go, and then they usually go, but wh- then why is everyone doing this? <laughs> well, it's because they want to keep why selling you stuff. Why is everyone buying all these gas cars? It's the same f-ing reason. Uh, how do I become one of the richest people in the whole world? Oh, I just sell them stuff. That they can't make themselves. That they can't make themselves. Great. Broccoli and solar power you can make yourself. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know Clips. You can watch full episodes of Tesla Time News on Tuesdays and in-depth on Fridays. Just click the link down below and head over to the Now You Know channel.